Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replicate the Instagram app's user interface with Flutter. We will learn how to use different layouts, how to use a button navigator, and how to replicate something in general. In this video, I will recreate the Instagram app's Android version home screen UI, but it's almost the same as on iOS, so it depends on you which one you prefer and which one you want to try out now. I just launched my website where you can find this tutorial in a blog post version as well as my other tutorials. I use a slightly different structure to explain the tutorials in my blog post, so don't forget to check them out at mercyhoman.com. All right, so this is how the real app looks like, and this is how the replicate version looks like. I know I didn't have the exact fonts and the images, but I think for experimenting with Flutter, it's fairly enough. So let's start the coding. I'm starting with a basic do nothing application. You can find this on my GitHub. I will leave a link in the description below. You can find the basic files in this and also the images that we will use. You can clone this or download it to your computer. Okay, so first we will create the bottom navigator to be able to switch between the different screens. I googled Flutter bottom navigator bar since this is the first time for me as well to try this out. I found this article about the usage of such navigator bar. I will also leave a link for this below. You can try out how it's working and this is exactly what we need. Let's just copy this whole code, delete everything from our main.dart file and paste the bottom navigator's code here. Although I found some errors in the code. If you also get these errors in the bottom navigator bar item, you need to change the word label to title. Since this widget right now doesn't have a property called label. But the title needs a widget, so we need to change the strings into text widget. After rerunning the app, it should be good. And here we go, we have the bottom navigator sample running on the device. Ok, I'm just deleting these comments and changing the title. Before we can continue, let me introduce you the source of this replica. I have to be honest with you, I had a pretty good time coding this app and I had a pretty good time figuring out those characters. I checked on Instagram if the name is available and I searched for a lot of pictures to match their uh, personality. So if you think coding is boring, then you should definitely code this app and you should definitely come up with different characters and different pictures to, you know, make the coding experience more enjoyable and to have more fun while coding. Okay, so first we have Maria, Maria Bolick, a girl from San Francisco who really appreciates friendships. Then there is a travel with Euphrosina, where the girl Euphrosina uh, shows us her adventures around the world. Number three is Stephanie Holman from Norway, who shares some really good side tips here. Ben and Christina our cute couple who just bought a house in New York. Then we have a Swedish girl from Malmo and she is into photography. And finally, Mama Rosibella, a mother who likes to share the moments of his precious daughter since she was born. So this is our crew, six people, six very nice and very imaginary people. So I think we should go back to coding now. Let's start by making the app bar. For this, we need to change the app bar's title to our custom component. You can do this in a separate function, but I'm just doing it right here. Let's change this text to a row. In this row, we want to place a camera icon, the Instagram heading and the messages icon. Let's set the main axis alignment to space between. If you check out the iOS version of the Instagram app, 
you will see that the Instagram title is at the center. We can do this very easily. We just need a row with the three elements. So with the camera icon, the Instagram title and the message icon. We should set the main axis alignment of this row to space between and therefore we will get this um, Instagram sign at the center. However, on Android the Instagram title is on the left, so what should we do now? We should make an inner row inside this outer row and therefore there will be space between the inner row and the message icon because in the inner row we will put only the camera icon and the Instagram sign. Okay, I'm doing exactly this. I'm setting the height of the first icon to 35 and the height of the Instagram sign to 40. I'm also setting a top and left padding to this caption. Then we need to make the third element in the up bar. If you're making the Android version and you have two rows inside each other, you need to place this element outside of the inner row. We have to take an image here with the source of the messages icon. I'm also setting its height to 35 pixels. Now we got the right layout for the elements, but the background is blue. Let's set the up bar widget background color to white. Nice, the up bar is ready. If you scroll down a little, you will find the bottom navigation bar widget. As you can see, this widget is the one that is responsible for the bottom part. As you can see, it has three bottom navigation bar item widgets. We can customize the icon and the title of the pages here. We will need five pages. Home, Search, Post, Activity and Profile. Now, I would like you to try to solve this alone first. You will need to place five bottom navigation items into the bottom navigation bar. You will have to match the titles with those five ones that we were discussed. You also need to set the icons. You can find the images for the pages inside the image folder, but you have to use the image icon widget because that widget can convert an image to an icon. Pause this video here and try to solve this task alone. And if you are ready, you can continue watching this video and I will show you how to do this. So here's the solution. We have to use the image icon widget to make an icon from an image. Inside the asset image widget, we can put the path of the home icon. Then we can copy this line to the following two bottom navigator bar item, but change the name of the file. For the second screen, we use search.png and for the third screen, we used post.png. Let's copy this whole bottom navigation bar item and paste it two times below. Then we should change the titles. However, they won't be visible in the app. Of course, I'm changing the icons for the fourth page as well. We also need to create five elements in the widget list. This is the part that tells the app what should appear on each screen. As you can see, now every screen has only a text with the screen's name. Alright, if you didn't find an icon for the profile, it's that because there isn't any icon for that. On the Android version, the profile icon is the same as your profile picture in your Instagram account. We will solve this problem soon. But first, let's solve another problem. If you click on a page in the real app, you will see that the icon is changing. The inactive icon is only an outline, but the active icon is colored black. Fortunately, the navigation bar item has two properties for the icon. 
One is the simple icon that you have used, but the other is called active icon that is responsible for the design of the icon when the page is active. You can find an active version of all four images inside the image folder. So let's set them. You can pause this video again if you would like to try to do this alone. We have five pages. We can select each of them. I took the post.png to the profile as well, but I will replace it with my profile picture in a minute. As you can see, the colors are not good since the active icon is orange and the inactive icon is white. Therefore, it doesn't look like an icon at all. Let's change the selected item color to black. I prefer this black 87, which is black with a smaller opacity. We should set the unselected color to this color too. We don't need to use a different color for the inactive icon since we differentiate the icons with the color fill. Also important to set the show select labels and the show unselected labels to false because in the real app the labels are not visible. As you can see, there is a designed transition between the icons, but in the real Instagram app, there is no such animation. Therefore, we should change its type property to bottom navigator bar type dot fixed. I set the icon size to 35 instead of 40, but maybe it is still too big, so you should set it to smaller if you want. And here comes the time when we will fix the profile icon. I introduce you to another widget called Circle Avatar. I have to say that we will use this widget a lot in this tutorial, so I'm sure you will be familiar with this by the end of the coding. The circle avatar needs a radius. This is the property for the size. Let's set it to 15. It also needs a background image. Let's set it to images slash profile picture that PNG. We are done with the inactive icon. But let's look at the real app. What happens if you press the inactive profile picture icon? A black circle appears around the profile picture. How can we do that? We need to use three circle avatars. I told you we will use this widget a lot in this tutorial. So the author, the biggest circle avatar has to be black while the second circle avatar has to be white and the inner, the third circle avatar widget will be the profile picture itself. Therefore, we can get the desired appearance. So, let's write it down. The first radius has to be 18, the background color is black. We can place the circle avatars into each other by using the child property. Write child, colon, and then the second circle avatar widget. The second has a 17 pixels radius and the white background color. And the third is the same that we wrote to the icon property. Okay, it's working, but as you might notice, there is no profile picture that PNG in the images folder. I'm placing my Instagram profile picture in the images folder. You should do the same with a picture of yourself. We are ready with the bottom navigation. The next step will be coding the home screen UI. We will make a row for the stories and we will use a widget function to code the post easily. Thank you for watching the first part of the Instagram UI clone tutorial. If you found it useful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next part is available. Until then, bye!